So we're at a kind of everyday average supermarket and we're going to be looking at the foods that are in the outer circle. So the, basically the ones to avoid. And uh, it's just curious to notice that if you go into just almost any supermarket, just how little prana is in the food. We just had a look at the bakery here <laughs> and that it's all sugar and fat and just I, I don't know I get sad I'm, I'm not here to make a joke out of this I mean this is serious this is what we're eating and you know and it's maybe this is a little extreme but this is the kind of food that is making us sick and so and look here we have uh, all of these packaged salad this is kind of the lowest form of vegetable that you can take it's like there's just nothing in it the way it's grown the way it's stored it's just offering you very little yeah okay so now we're in the vegetable section it's not quite the vibrancy of the farmers market but today it doesn't look too bad sometimes it really looks just limp and not full of life but today not too bad well look at the chard yeah now to compare that chard to what we saw at the the market and um and also none of this is organic <laughs> they're hormone filled <laughs> these are been fed with pesticides and things and it's just not the same and they're also waxy so here you have a whole wall of sugar of sugar drinks from a macrobiotic perspective and from a yogic perspective that too much juice too much sugar is kind of an imbalancing thing for one thing making that difference between the whole complex carbohydrates and simple carbohydrates and all these sugars are simple carbohydrates which are ingested and processed chemically so differently in your system and if you just look at this wall it's just liquid sugar I mean there's a place for it especially fresh juice that's um, in season and local like so in Philadelphia that means orange juice is never in that category so again that's a real treat or an occasional use if you love orange juice then enjoy it but be aware that it's not really in the center and in a yogic sense or a macrobiotic sense water is your main drink water in place in place of all of these look this whole aisle is a, it's like a shrine to sugar look on either side of you the special K then go to this side more juice this whole row is juice kool-aid and on this side is total sugar cereal we enjoy a bowl of cereal once in a while <laughs> but not daily and then you then you come to the end of this row and what do they top it off with the candy <laughs> the whole row of candy and bars and finally you do reach see and this is in an um, average American diet you get your grains once in a while by putting oats in your oatmeal raisin cookies <laughs> or eating oatmeal and so you do get somewhat of a grain thing happening but it's not a whole grain so all of this probably doesn't belong at all but if it does it's way out there way out there to be used the littlest bit and it on the most special occasions and to be completely enjoyed if that's your thing but as far as your health your yogic progression in terms of ahimsa just thinking of the environment there's so much to consider that how meat does not belong tantalizing to your taste buds horrible for your body in a macrobiotic sense this, what, what you see is a radical flipping between yin and yang. So the yin is the sugar. It's one extreme end of the pole. 
The yang is the meat, another extreme end of the pole. And so the diet is continually fluctuating between the extremes and omitting the center. And so it's just what we're observing. Fat in the diet is a real thing to consider uh, when you're thinking of this, what's in the center and what's on the outside. And what's on the outside are the real fatty type foods. Like, um, and that's why yin foods like um, cookies and cakes and breads and pastries, those are all out. Um, fatty meats, they're all out there, even though they're at one's yin and one's yang. And, um, and even thinking of the quality of oil that you're taking. And so, for instance, these Crisco types, totally refined and processed and bleached and dyed. And um, they even have the, like the actual shortening Crisco, which is big, the saturated fat, all really hard, um, just fats for your body to process, all um, toxic. And this whole aisle is basically canned and boxed processed food, which is all easy to cook and ready-made. And so those are way out in the circle. And if you do use those foods, it's better that it's occasional and you know what you're doing and you use the natural version of it. Actually, for me, it's been a long time since I've even been in the frozen food section of a store. I imagine it's probably the same for you, but I mean, this is again, the prana, how far removed it is from the source and just even the way it's being stored is just, whoa, you know? And again, it's flipping between yin and yang. It's meat and then it's ice cream. So this whole row is full of staples of butter and margarine and eggs, cheese, yogurt, all things that are in a yogic diet, they're way out there. They're not in the center. They're not your staples. If you are going to use them, you have to consider the quality. Like if you do use eggs, there's a huge difference between just any old egg and the one that you can get at the farmer's market. Um, if you're going to use some kind of substitute to butter, just being careful with the, um, the saturated fat, the partially hydrogenated oils, um, like country crock and even smart balance is questionable because of it, the palm oil and things in it. So you have to weigh these things and be really aware of your fat intake and dairy is a huge source of fat and then if you take non-fat dairy well then what that's kind of strange because there's not much to it then and not even much taste both uh, it's dairy and it's yin it's the sweet and so it's one that is to be enjoyed very moderately so milk is another product very although in in, in India, it's a revered product because cows are, are so devoted to cows. Um, but that can get tricky because macrobiotically, milk is out. It's for cows. And um, it's just not a healthy food. That it, What it's composed of is not the best food for an adult human to be consuming in a big way. Um, but if you are going to have it, they do have the organic whole milk or organic milk. And, um, and then there's all kinds of substitutes now. So there's rice milk, there's almond milk, there's soy milk. They've made a huge market of selling these, but they also put additives in them that are not healthy. And Um, and so that's something to be careful with is that actually drinking a lot of soy milk or rice milk that's just bought at a regular grocery store is not necessarily the healthiest option either. And um, we buy the, we'll show you the brand, but it's called uh, Eden Soy. and It's got the most basic kind. It's almost like if you made it yourself. So 
if, if we cruise this entire row of bread, we won't find one loaf that is nutritious and healthy and tasty. The, it's all processed, it's all white flour, it's got a mile-long list of ingredients. <gasps> Even the, quote, healthy ones won't, they won't be healthy. Let's see here. Yeah. I mean, just even you can feel this thing. It's the what it's been pumped up and just, it's not really food. Okay. Yeah, well, high fructose corn, corn syrup is the th third ingredient after uh, ble wheat, flour, water, high fructose corn syrup. And then it goes on. I mean, it's not that long. It's just doesn't have much for you. So now we come to the natural food section, the little oasis, but how much of an oasis is it really? Because it has the same things. It's got sh cereal and soy milk and things, which they're still on the outside. They maybe are a little bit healthier. They might have organic grains and better sweeteners or less sweetener, um, less ingredients, less preservatives, but there's still treats and out there kind of comfort foods. I mean, look at the variety of soy dream, rice dream, almond dream. Show them they do actually oh, they have, do our... have our kind too, which is amazing in our little fish town thrift way. The Eden. And how many ingredients soy. are in it? Uh, let's see water, soybeans, or water, organic soybeans naturally malted organic wheat and barley extract, calcium carbonate, kombu, seaweed, and sea salt. That's all. So they have a selection of whole grains. Look at all these varieties of mac and cheese. And there's the same things, juices, chips, cookies. So. They're, they have the natural versions of the junk food, the, which is largely what this section is. And so, it might be a little bit healthier, but still, it's better to go in your kitchen and get out the pots and pans and cook. Um, and then there's the same things, juices. Chips, cookies. And there you have it. That's Thriftway's natural food, the extent of it.